Welcome back to day 86 of the fishing challenge. Guys, we have this power bait trout mixture on a porcupine quill. About this is the ultra ultra light bite setup. This is a killer rig right here. We should get something. Look, porcupine quill. This is about two feet under the quill. It is designed. This rig is I designed it myself. Look, this rig is for um ultra ultra light lightweight fishing where anytime the bite is tough it's gonna be hard to cast this right here very hard let me get in I, get, I gotta get in just the right spot to cast this this is designed so that even if they're on a light bite they'll still take this look I'm just gonna uh oh did you see what happened just now guys something nipped it on the way down Look right there. Something already nipped it. Can't believe that. Look, I lost tension right here. That's a sign. That is a sign. Okay, look. Something nipped it on the way down. All right, what we're gonna do is move it. Oh no, I see what happened. They took the, uh, they took the trout bait off there. It's all right. Is, if the fish are biting, look, the fish are biting, it's totally worth it. It's always worth it if the fish are biting. So, if they're biting, let them steal the bait. They're going to get hooked. They'll get hooked. Don't worry. They will get hooked. All right. So, let's ball up another little piece of uh, the trout bait. Let's go right back out there because... They obviously really <laughs> thought this was tasty because they just chomped, off, chomped it off. As soon as I put it in the water, they, they got it. All right. I got more of it on there. Look here. Here's how we do it. There's no weight on this thing, so it's very sensitive to wind. That's the drawback when you fish with this ultralight rig like this. This is the ultra light bite rig okay the drawback is when the wind kicks up you can't cast it you just got to be patient because when that wind decides you're not going to cast this thing trust me you won't or you'll regret it because it's not even going to let you cast it all right okay so this time that's a decent cast right there all right guys that cast right there decent I'm proud of that cast because this is a very lightweight rig and it was hard to cast that you know that far out there now we're gonna be patient eventually a fish is gonna notice that in the water and he's gonna swim over to it and pick on it uh, let's sneak over here I saw a fish just hit you didn't see it on camera but look I saw a fish hit right in that area why don't we just hide behind these bushes and be real still. I don't want the trout to see me. I don't want the trout to see me. Oh, guys, that was, that was one. That was one. Okay, well, we missed him because the hook set wasn't there, all right? The hook set wasn't good. Wow. That, you guys saw it. You saw it. He was on. Oh my goodness, guys, that was so exciting. All right, let me untangle and I'll be right back. We'll do it again, okay? Be right back. All right, we're back, guys. We're re rigged. We got the gulp and a little ball of trout power bait mixed with that corn power bait. I'm telling you, guys, we just missed that fish. You saw it. You saw it. I told you this is going to be a special episode. I have a feeling there's a big one. I mean a big trout in this area let's throw it out there let it sink to the bottom and see if a trout will come and snag this there look I'm, I'm in exactly the place where I want to be and I I casted it out there exactly where I want to be all we have to do 
is when he bites, set the hook hard. That's it. That's it. We're in the right spot. Seems like a trout would notice something that delicious in the water, in his area, in his strike zone. Because what one thing I've noticed about the stock trout is they seem to have their little zone where if you're 10 feet away from their strike zone, they won't swim over and get it. You gotta be in their zone. But if you are in their zone, I've noticed that they will, they're territorial. They will come and eat something that fell in, that, you know, food that fell into their little spot on the water. Okay. So I'm gonna move it. Maybe this is the zone for this other trout. So I know there's one trout over there. We missed him. Don't worry. There's more. There's more in here than just just him. There's other ones. There's there's trout just swimming around here. Look, I got some more bait on there. Got got the Berkeley gulp. Got a little piece of trout nibble. Got corn trout mixed with the other kind of. Oh man, we've got basically a buffet. We've got a five star buffet. These trout, once they notice that's in the water, they're gonna they're gonna freak out once they notice that a five star meal is in the water they're gonna freak out and it seems like they would come over and just grab it just just grab it and just swim off with it come back over here and without falling in the water because that'd be bad let's cast it out there Ooh, ooh, that was mean that was a good cast <gasps> god did you see that takedown did you see that takedown? Something just took it and just... Now last time I overreacted when it took down, okay? Last time I overreacted. What I don't want to do is overreact and just lip hook him right on the tip and not even hook him, okay? We want to hook the trout. We don't want him to, you know what I mean? He took it, but I was waiting to set the hook because I don't want to do what I just did a minute ago. That's why we lost the fish because if you're too eager and as soon as he bites, you set, you set the hook like right away before it's all the way in his mouth. What I've noticed happens is just what happened to us. You don't get the good hook set because you're too eager. You, do, you gotta let him take it. You gotta let him get it all the way in his mouth before you set the hook. Okay, we're over there in a good spot, guys. I think, I think this might produce. If it does, I'm gonna wait a moment, then I'll set the hook, okay? Okay, slow drift, slow drift. Gotta be real still with these trout because they are smart. They see me moving around, that's gonna turn them off. Uh-oh. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> we got something. We're on the board, in a sense. <laughs> well, you saw it. <laughs> we caught it. That that wasn't a that wasn't a miss, guys. Anytime you're fishing like this, you catch something. I mean, that's one fish every day. I didn't get the dock shot, but it doesn't matter. You saw it. Um, anytime you're fishing, and you catch one. If it's the wrong species, still pat yourself on the back. Pat yourself on the back and say, hey, what I'm doing works. Did I catch the right species? N no, but, uh, but what I'm doing is working because some fish are liking it. It's just not the target species. But anyways, nice little brim. Nice little brim. It wasn't the trout, but nice little brim. Let's re-rig, do it again. All right, guys, we need day 86 fish. I mean, we already caught it today. Like you saw it, we caught it. It flipped back in, but we, we had it on the bank. Um, I just didn't get a dock shot. But what I want to do is catch you one more. Doesn't matter the size, but I'll feel good about today. I knew we were, I knew going into the, today, we wouldn't be able to match day 85 because it was just so epic. Like, you, how do you follow something like that? 
how am I going to follow day 85? That was just ballistic. Yeah, that was just insane. Guys, because we've already caught our one for today, but it'd be nice to to catch a second just to just to come close to day 85. It was just so good. <laughs> There's day 86 fish right there. I saw him come up and take it. Look at that. Oh, come on, man. Look at that little guy. Look at this. I'm so glad I'm recording it in full HD, too, because you don't want the shorts. You want these good high def videos. I got the GoPro for a reason, you know? Look at this little guy. Beautiful coloration there. Look at his eyes man well i want to get him back in the water so thank you little guy for for being day 86 fish our first day 86 fell back in the water but he was you know he was decent but he fell back in this time no such luck i caught you buddy all right day 86 all right anyways guys if you're getting value out of this challenge Please tag a fisherman in the comments guys a challenge is not fun if there's only one person this challenge would be so much funner if I had competition so please guys leave a pet tag a fisherman in the comments uh, tell me who who might want to join the challenge just you know think of let's brainstorm there's so many fishermen in this country this is a shame that not one is brave enough to go against me in the challenge that is strange so let's let's do something about it guys tag a fisherman in the comments please thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time on fish camp tv